none of us who believe in Jesus Christ and who have come to know Him will have anything to boast about if we make it into the kingdom of heaven. It is by His mercy and grace that Jesus revealed Himself to us, that we heard the gospel and that we could believe in Him, accept Him as our Lord and Master, that we could repent of our former unfruitful life of sin and self-gratification and that we can follow Him, that we could be made new in Christ, be born again, to become children of God, be baptized in water for the washing off of our sin, so that we could come out of that water a new person, a new creature, eager to follow and obey Jesus Christ. It was by His mercy and grace that He has given us the baptism in the Holy Spirit. His Spirit to come and live in us, be with us, to guide us, to teach us, and to comfort us, to be with us always. But we have to follow and obey Him. We have to stay with Him until the very end. Without Jesus Christ, we can do nothing. If we do not follow Him in holiness and in righteousness and obey Him until the very end, we will not enter His kingdom. The prophet Micah said, He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with the Lord thy God. We have to follow the way, Jesus Christ, until the very end. None of us is finally saved yet. We have the hope of salvation as long as we endure with Jesus Christ. We have nothing to boast about. We only have reason to be grateful, thankful, that we have found the way. We must not forget where we came from, where Jesus saved us from. None of us is good, but we found the way. We have chosen to follow Jesus. We have chosen to depart from our evil ways. We have chosen and we have to choose every day to obey Jesus Christ. We have to choose right every day. Stay focused on Him. Listen to His Holy Spirit and be guided by the Spirit. We have to stay in Christ. Be led by the Holy Spirit in order to bear fruit for His kingdom, to bring glory to God. If we do not bear good fruit, we will get cut off and burned. It is destined for man to die once and thereafter to face judgment. And God does not discriminate. Those who knew the truth will experience stricter judgment than those who did not hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. We know the truth. And therefore, we have to walk in truth and in humbleness before the Lord our God. We have to bring others to Jesus Christ. We have nothing to boast about. We are no better than anybody else. But we have to stay on the right way. We have to keep on following Jesus every day. Make the right choices. Avoid temptation. Make straight paths for our feet that we might not stumble. We have to pray and listen to the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus said, Watch and pray that you do not fall into temptation, because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Without Jesus, we will not make it. And in the end, all the glory goes to Jesus. We have to stay with Him, endure with Him, until the very end, to find that narrow door into the kingdom of heaven. If we make it into heaven, it will only be by His mercy and grace. All the glory will go to Jesus. Are you on the narrow road? Are you following Jesus Christ every day? Is your hope in Him alone? May Jesus bless you.